Hi guys. Hi pretty face gang. That's what I call you guys since it's a little gang of us. It's like a little bit, but I'm not mad. At least I got some subscribers up in here. But today I'm gonna be going and telling you guys what I bought from Sephora. So I've been on like this um kind of like spending money kind of kick right now. And I like once a, I'm gonna say like once a week I go into Sephora and I buy a whole bunch of stuff. So it's like a build up of stuff from like two weeks, two, three weeks. I wanna say three weeks worth of stuff. So let's go through my purchases, okay? So Sephora collection, they have been coming out with some heavy hitters, all right? So first I'm gonna start by going by, you know, brands, I guess. Sometimes I dibble and dabble into Sephora collection skincare. I feel like it's affordable and it's some good products and they have actually some really great ingredients in it too, which I've seen. So I started and I bought this green clay mask. I haven't opened it yet. I can't wait to use it. This mask cost, hold on, green clay mask, it only cost um, $4. $4 for a packet and it's reusable, which is great. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. It says it has four uses. And what it's supposed to do is purify and pore perfecting. So I have huge pores and my skin has been acting crazy. I'm planning to use this on Sunday. You'll probably see me on Snap using it. And it's a green clay mask, so it has green tea in it. So yeah, I'm super excited to use it. And also I purchased the Sephora exfoliating wipes. Everything I get is usually exfoliating because I like my skin to look smooth like butter. And I also like to um, purify, you know, my, my pores, okay? So these wipes only cost $7.50 and they smell really amazing. They have so many different fragrances like rose, lemon, um, what else, green tea, and they do different things. So this one's for exfoliating and it also it purifies and detox. So I use this too for my clients as well. So it's only $7.50, which is great. So $4, $7.50, kidding me, great prices. Then I bought some Sephora Collection liquid lipsticks. So these bad boys, they cost um, $14. This one is like one of my favorites for summer. It's a pretty summery red and it is called Strawberry Kissed. So that's the name of it. It's like a coral pinky red, which is really cool. It's nice for summer. It's a pretty summery red. Um, I usually, right now I'm wearing the Tarte, the Tartiest or Tartiste one in Juicy. That's my favorite red lip. I wear this, sometimes I use this one and also I would do a little bit of this one in the center it makes a really pretty ombre lip and I also purchased this one this one's a number seven in the cream lip. let me see it's called cherry blossom so this is like a like a pretty pink it's like a mauvey pink but still kind of bright which I like so this one would be really pretty going into fall if you need it like a nice bold pink lip but nothing too crazy I also bought some lip glosses from Sephora collection as well. So I bought the Colorful Gloss Balm. So this one's super lightweight. This The color is called Cream of the Crop Top. And it's so pretty. It's perfect nude. This is a great everyday lip gloss too. It looks really shimmery. But right now I'm really feeling the Sephora collection lip glosses because they go on really smooth. I love the wand applicator. See how the doe foot is like, it's like a cool little wave to it, but I'm able to really get every corner and get a nice even coat, just like one dip and I'm good. And this lip gloss is like a pretty brownie type of red almost, but when it goes on my lip, it just gives me like a berry tone and it shears out. And it's like a kissable, I don't have it on now, but I'm thinking about it. It feels so good. It's like a kissable lip gloss where I could like kiss my husband is not sticky at all. So if you don't like, uh, if you usually don't like lip glosses, you would probably love this lip gloss. Or even if you, um, even if you do love lip gloss and you like to kiss and you wear lip gloss, <laughs> then it's like, it won't, I'm telling you, it won't be like sticky and feeling gross. It's really has a nice slip to it. Okay. Hopefully I don't sound like creepy, but yeah, it has a nice slip to it. I also bought, um, speaking of lips, I also bought the honey lip scrub. I haven't used this yet. Believe it or not, I'm probably gonna use it tonight after wearing this matte lipstick all day. Um, I heard really nice things about it. Hopefully it smells like honey. I didn't smell it in the store, I just grabbed it. And this is, I believe this is $4 as well. I'm gonna do a price check. 
I'm gonna leave it down for you guys, okay? You guys ready? So these bad boys just came out. I feel like they came out last week online and then they came out this week in stores because last, last week when I was in the store, it wasn't in there. This week when I went today, they were in the store. Oh my God. I'm so loving how everybody's coming out with like a cream, like a stick foundation. Cause I've always loved stick foundations since working with Bobbi Brown. Always loved them. They're really creamy, they're easy to use. You can contour, conceal, whatever, highlight, whatever with your um, cream stick foundation. So Sephora made one and it's called Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. Honey, when I tell you I use this today to contour my cheeks, and it gives you a nice radiance. It's easy to blend. A little bit goes a long way. Because when I first put this on, girl, I was like going in. Like I needed a lot. No. Okay, you can. I did this on my client after I did my makeup. I cleaned it up, used it on my client. And when I did it on my client, I used less, way less. Like a couple little dabs on there and blend it out. It blends out smoothly and perfectly, especially for contours. And I can't imagine using this all over my face. Like it would be amazing okay so build it. it you see that color it's a good contour color you're able to really just blend it out and it's like a semi matte so it's not super buttery like um, Bobbi Brown her foundation sticks are really creamy so it's great for someone who has dry skin this is great for anyone so dry skin normal skin and even oily because it dries down to be like a semi matte so I love it it's really smooth in texture I know how much this costs only twenty dollars only twenty dollars for this foundation okay so definitely make sure that you guys check that out okay like seriously this is a good one and also what's good for your face is the Sephora uh, micro smooth baked powder this powder is like a dupe for the Mac mineralized skin finish this powder only costs twenty two dollars Mac mineralized skin finish was like thirty dollars when I worked for Mac 30 something it's like 30 something dollars so this is good especially if you're trying to save your coins because I'm always trying to save my coins <laughs> it is so good I use this on myself like every day on my clients I love this powder because it looks like skin it's baked it's like dome shape and it looks like skin and when it's on the skin it just looks smooth that's how you're able to really get that blurred out effect. This is great to set your highlights with. It's great to set your foundation with. It's great to use by itself. This is a great buy. Only $22, girl. Really good. I think that's pretty much it from Sephora Collection. Let me see, I have another bag. So I bought this concealer because it was on sale the week that I um, went into, con uh, I can't talk. The week that I went into Sephora, it was on sale. So originally, let's say she was like about so like about 20 originally for this little it's a good size jar i can't even say it's little but i got it on sale it was like ten dollars it was a good buy and i needed a good concealer that was a little bit darker than my skin complexion look how it's creamy now i wouldn't personally suggest i feel like they're gonna come out with a new one personally you just heard it from me first i feel like they're going to because they were, it seems like they're trying to get rid of the old ones because they're probably gonna come out with something better. Keep your eye out on that, watch. But they come out and they're really creamy. I use this for my face. Even though it's darker, sometimes I use it where I'm darker around my mouth. I use this first and then I go with my foundation. I feel like sometimes darkness covers darkness. So sometimes you might need to go with something a little bit darker and more red to cancel out if you have like coolness from your um, dark spot through dark area. So I use this first and then I use my foundation on top and I look normal. It's my own personal tip. But it works well in the face. I probably would even use this as a foundation for other people. Cause a little bit goes a long way and it's super creamy and you can get that full coverage. I got an eyeshadow from them too. Just one single one that I'm gonna put in my Z palette. So the shadow I bought was called, what's the name of the shadow? Metal. So it's really pretty. This is great for brides. That's why I bought it. And yeah, I love it. Can't wait to use it. I was going to use it today for my girl, but I ended up using um, Retrospect from MAC. And I got this concealer from NARS. So it's the NARS Creamy Radiance Concealer, but it's in um, a jar. So it's like, a, like an actual cream. I've been going in on this. 
this is like my favorite at first I was looking like at it skeptical I didn't really get it until I, I actually got like a real foundation brush that has a little longer flat type of um, brush or bristle to it and I started to use that under my brow this is what I use today on my brow I even used it under my eye it blends out incredibly and the texture of it is super fluffy lightweight put my finger in it I only like to use a brush with this but I'll just show you guys my finger it's super fluffy and it dries down to be like a semi matte versus the Anastasia that's definitely like a radiant type of finish so I really enjoy this concealer I'm definitely gonna buy some more of it it's super lightweight so fluffy it's like my new jam I really love it so then I went in and I got a small version of the cover effects perfect setting powder what I'm enjoying though recently a lot with Sephora is that they have the sample versions of products, the little products, you know, on Beauty on the Fly. That's the place where you're walking through and you're going to ring out on Beauty on the Fly. They have a lot of the little samples, right? But before, I can never find my shade in those. Like, it would always be like fair and porcelain. Now I can find my shade in some of the powders and some of the concealers too. So I'm like, yes. Sephora is here for everybody like I'm here for it so the shade that I ended up getting was deep I already I'm pretty sure you guys know if you watch my previous videos that I use a lot of cover effects setting powder I love it but I was using the shade medium to set my highlight but now I'm gonna try deep just because it's a little bit it's a little bit more brown just a little bit more so I don't mind I didn't open this yet but trying to wait to show you guys but now I get to play with it because I showed you but I can't wait to use it especially to set around my mouth and around my face I might even try to set my highlight with it because it's a still light brown so I'm really excited I think this cost let me see um, I got receipts honey don't judge my life okay just don't judge it this is $14 and this is great especially if you want to test it out I think the bigger one is like 20 to 30 so probably 30 so um yeah now I think about it i think it's 38 so if you wanted to try this out and you're not sure never used setting powder before try the little sample versions of it on beauty on the fly when you go in and you're ringing out just so that you can get a little experience of it just a little just a little taste you know is that it well that was the last part of my haul um i hope you guys enjoyed my video and enjoyed seeing all my goodies that I bought. Um, let me know what are your favorite products and let me know what products I should try next, okay? Cause you know, I like to, I like to shop a little bit. But yeah, you guys definitely have a good one and make sure you subscribe, hello, subscribe. And make sure you hit the like button or the dislike button if you don't like my video, I don't care. I love you too. <laughs> all right, well you guys have a good one, all right, bye.